Well, how about just a little bit of trivia before I get to work today? It's a little chilly in the shop, and I've run out of kerosene. And with this goofy virus thing, I'm not really enthused about going out and getting anything, so I'm holding up into the shop. Um, this is in response to a couple of questions I get fairly frequently related to what size tools to get for a different size. And when I sell a set for, say, a Husqvarna 372, it'll come with a handle, you know, a pin with a, a little nut on the end to hold things, and some threaded rods, right, that go on to the end of the cranks to pull them through, some washers and some bushings and things like that. This would be a bushing for, like, the 660s. And... This one's for like the 390s. That's Varna. These top hats work pretty good for 372, a couple of washers and stuff like that. But the point is that once you have the basic set with a couple of bushings and some of the uh, brass bushings and washers and things, a couple of these. And a handle, right? Once you have a setup for for one particular saw, when you have additional saws you want to work on, really the only thing you have to buy is these these jacks, and I sell them for like twenty five bucks a pop, or you know I make them make them up on a lathe. So, for example, and we're going to cover a couple of things simultaneously. The Husqvarna three seventy two and three eighty fives. They'll come with an M8 by one right-hand thread, right? Standard stuff for the flywheel. And this particular size works on a lot of the different Huskies, all the 500 series, all the way back in some of the 200. It's a very, very common thread. So having that M8 by one is one of those um, jacks. It's probably the most versatile because it also spans into some of the smaller steels, right? So M8 by 1 is very common. Husqvarna 372, 357, 346, uh, 550, 562, you know, 385, 390, all of them use the same one. The other common one for Husky is, is for the PTO side. It'll be the M14 by 1.25 left-hand thread. Now this is going to be for the clutch side of 372, 385, 390, and a whole bunch of other models. So those two, the M8, by one right hand, and the M14 by 1.25 left hand, covers a lot of the standard Husqvarna series of saws. Right? Now, when you go back a little bit in Husqvarna history, the 200 series, it's very common to have um, an M10 by one left hand for the PTO side. This is the clutch side. And I make those. But also, it's very common to have the M10 by one right hand for the flywheel side. So for most of the 61s, 268, 272, that whole class of saw. The M10 by one left hand and the M10 by one right hand jacks are the ones they have. Now, in addition to the Husqvarna's, the older Huskies, the 200 series, a lot of the steels use the M10 by one on the flywheel as well. So that's another very handy one. For steel, the M12 by 1.25 left hand is common. And again, for the Husky, the M10 by one hand left hand is common. So there's like five sizes, which covers a lot of different saws. Okay. Now, I'm going to add one more to the repertoire for those people who like to work in Husqvarna. The older 272 series or 61 series, and then you go back into the 
saws of this era. It's not uncommon to have a half by 13 reverse thread or left hand thread on the on the PTO side or clutch side. Like that right there. It's a very coarse thread. But it's one that's pretty common. So I guess in summary, those six sizes covers a lot of the Husqvarna's and a lot of the steels. And this is the hard part. It takes a little bit of time. And while I'm sure there is a better way of doing it, this is what I've done now for a while. And uh, it takes a little bit of effort, especially on these bigger, more coarse threads, because it takes just a more forced to run that tap down in there. So I end up doing a lot of back and forth. I don't want to break a tap in there, which would be a real pain in the neck, you know. I do believe I'm there. Let me go pull that nut off to make sure, but I think I'm far enough in. I'm not really happy with that. See how much eccentric is on that. You know? I guess that's why I do it with a lathe. That was an unsuccessful operation. Of course, I should have, should have known. <laughs> 